So I'll address this right at the top. Yes, Victory Point Cafe could, in theory, be called a pub. A pub where games are played. But let's pretend just for a moment that you don't have a sweet, sweet board game cafe in your neighborhood. And you are one of the many poor souls who has to get their social gaming in at an actual pub or bar. In this situation, you're probably looking for a game that isn't too hard to learn, has a small table footprint, something that'll spark conversation, and nothing too heavy or too long. Oh boy, oh boy, have we got a list for you. Here are the top five games to bring with you to the pub. What puts you in a drinking mood more than a Wild West theme? <laughs> That's right, only a few things don't actually pertain to this game, so we're gonna skip right over them. In Bang the Dice game, each player will take on a secret role of some sort of Wild West cliche or another, and are trying to fend off the attacking natives, while also surviving the barrage of bullets from other players that are firing at you. The central mechanic of this game is a Yahtzee-style dice rolling mechanic. On your turn, you'll roll five dice up to three times, letting you fire at other players, fire at attackers, or even get rid of any negative tokens you may have acquired. All in all, Bang the Dice game is great fun that will usually end up sparking the phrase, why me, more than a couple of times. Ku is a great small box game, regardless of setting. It just so happens to work particularly well when you're looking for a great portable game with a tiny footprint. In Ku, each player takes on the role of someone with influence over the court of the city, state, or country, or planet this game takes place in. This influence is represented by two cards that you keep in front of you, representing members of the court that you have in your pocket. The crux of this game is all about bluffing. You see, the influence cards are face down in front of you, and on each turn you will claim to have a specific court member in your hand, essentially daring your friends to call BS. Really, how great this game is and how well it works in this kind of situation is summed up by the grin you'll see on players' face when they claim the Duke and look around the table wondering, who wants to call me on this one, huh? Cockroach Poker is very similar to Coup in that it really is just a bluffing game, and this one takes out almost all of the rules. Each turn, Cockroach Poker starts with a very simple truth or lie. You will pass a card from your hand to another player face down and state what kind of card you're passing them. This person then decides whether or not you are absolutely lying straight to their face. If they're right, you get the card. If they're wrong, they get the card. First with four cards of the same suit in front of them loses. There's little more to it than that, but not really much. So if you like games that end up with the feeling that you can no longer trust the people around you or anything they say, then Cockroach Poker might just be the perfect pub game for you. The ultimate in portable and small footprint gaming, we have a Love Letter. With an amazing array of different themes, some of the simplest rules, and unparalleled portability, it almost seems like Love Letter was designed for this type of gaming. The rules are so simple, in fact, that I can include them here. You start with a hand of one card. On your turn, you draw a card and then discard one of the two cards face up in front of you, which will also cause you to use its special ability. That's it, that's the game. But man, is there a surprising amount of game there. Find the theme that resonates with you and you really cannot go wrong with Love Letter. Okay, okay, okay. I can hear the moans from here. Yes, Cards Against Humanity just had to make this list. I know there are a lot of you out there that probably aren't a fan of this game or think it's offensive or simply in bad taste, but there's no denying its popularity or how quickly this game can get people laughing, especially people that haven't played this game before or don't really care about being PC. Everyone knows cards, so there's no need to go over it here, but if you've been under a rock for a while, it's adult apples to apples. You don't have to be a super funny person to play the game. You don't even have to say much. You just play cards from your hand and the laughing commences. And really, isn't getting people engaged and laughing the main reason you would take a game to a pub anyway? Just saying. 
Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below, or you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person, and of course, try any of these great games. And if you really liked our video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.